According to the National Hurricane Center, Irene was centered about 50 miles northeast of the Dominican Republic with top winds around 100 miles per hour, putting it at Category 2. Irene is likely to become a major Category 3 hurricane today and could strengthen to Category 4 by Thursday. Puerto Rico has already been hit and our reports from the island show many without power for days. Experts say it could make landfall in Florida, Georgia, South Carolina or North Carolina by Saturday. For more information or more on our severe weather coverage, stay tuned for WHIGTV weather later on in the broadcast. A fatal accident near mile marker 121 in Wilson over the weekend shuts down traffic for hours. Saturday, three women traveling in a family SUV were killed on Interstate 95. The Ford Expedition was carrying eight family members returning home to New York from Disney World in Florida. According to NC Highway Patrol, one of the women killed was the driver, 22-year-old Rosani Marte, who was driving around 70 miles per hour around 4 p.m. when she suddenly lost control leading the vehicle to flip three times before landing on its roof. She, her mother, 46-year-old Angela Marte, and grandmother, 71-year-old Rosa Marte, were killed. Troopers say neither women were wearing seat belts. Survivors include two men and three children, who last we've learned are in critical condition at Pitt Memorial Hospital in Greenville. Rocky Mountain Police continue to investigate the death of a man found murdered at a local gas station. Police say Sunday morning at the Kangaroo Express in Gold Rock, they found 55-year-old Edward Arrington Whitaker Jr. with injuries to his head, though they say they have yet to confirm his exact cause of death. Police believe a suspect in the murder may have been operating a silver, gold, or tan truck, possibly a Toyota. Whitaker's body is undergoing an autopsy at the medical examiner's office in Greenville. If you have have any information into this crime, you should call Crime Stoppers at 252-977-1111. And as always, when giving tips, you do not have to provide your name. In other news, several folks employed at one of the nation's largest banks will lose their jobs. According to Bank of America, they are shedding 3,500 jobs in the next quarter. The Wall Street Journal, Journal and New York Times says total cuts could eventually exceed 10,000 jobs and that the initial 3,500 cuts are expected to be spread across Bank of America's business, including investment banking and trading. Our nearest branch is located in Wilson. As of yet, there is no word on how the cuts will impact the bank's workforce in North Carolina. And with an upcoming program to help families get family matters in order, we spoke to Clerk of Superior Court for Edgecombe County, the Honorable Carol Allen White. Take a look. The event will be held on September 17th at Edgecombe Community College in Tarboro, and the name of the event, the event is Come Be Empowered Family Matters. It's our 10th annual community forum. And um, tell us a little bit about what people can expect when they come to it. Uh, people can expect to receive a lot of good information, um, to know what documents that they would need uh, in times of um, situations that may occur that they're just not, you know, comfortable enough in talking with other people about. Who is this event most geared towards, would you say? I would say that this event is most geared towards the um, adults, um, those who may need a power of attorney or wheels or living wheels. Okay, and if, I, if anybody wants to get any more information, how can they do that? Uh, they may contact the Clerk of Superior Court's office, and that number is 252-824-3200. We'll be hearing more about this event next month. And as a reminder, there will be a Tasty event going on at Braswell Memorial Library this weekend. Here is Martha Lee with the library's adult services to tell us more. We are through the North Carolina Humanities Council have a special guest coming on a Saturday, August the 27th. This guest, Dr. John Beck, will come and talk to us about Southern foods. Well, else, I mean, I think we think we know about Southern foods, but this guy's going to have some really interesting facts and figures and, and just some really good ideas for us. It's called Southern Foods High and Low. So we're hoping uh, that you will come and participate in this program with us. Now, it's going to be at 1130 that Dr. Becker is going to start talking to us on August the 27th. He'll talk for about 45 minutes to an hour. 
then we got a special treat for a very low price we're going to invite you to and stay on and have a dinner, a lunch with us of, of course, Southern cooking. Dr. Beck will recommend what we will have, and so that menu is not coming in completely set yet, but we're thinking something on probably the order of fried chicken, yams, collards, cornbread. May change, maybe not be exactly that, but that's something we are still in the process of planning. If you want to participate in the food part of the program, we would need you to call and sign up for this. So that, of course, we'll have a plate for you to eat, and the minimum, the cost will be very minimal, uh, very minimal for, for that. And we'll let you know as soon as we know what that cost is uh, specifically going to be. But we think it's going to just be. First of all, the idea of a, a guy talking to us about Southern cooking and the very, you know, not just North Carolina cooking, but Southern cooking in general, uh, the high country cooking, the low country cooking, uh, that kind of stuff, and then getting to a, a chance to sample uh, a wonderful meal being catered for us. I think it's going to be a load of fun. We'd love for you to come. Go to Braswell-Library.org to check it out. Call 442-1951 at Stitching 3 to sign up, especially if you want to participate in the food, which, ooh, who doesn't want to do food? But come on and join us. We'd love to have you. That's August the 27th on a Saturday at 1130. After the break, one of the newest additions to downtown Rocky Mount is preparing to open up. We'll have more on the new Four Seasons restaurant right after these words. hear from us. WHIG TV Newsbreak is reporting on the news, issues, and stories that matter to you. Call us at 252-885-1814, email us at marie.whigtv at gmail.com, or check us streaming live at whigtv.com. We're your voice, ready to bring you the news. The Country Inn & Suites is your home away from home with a staff that always treats you as family. If you or your church or company has visitors, give them a great Rocky Mount welcome with a special discount on their overnight or extended stay. Not only is the Country Inn & Suites a comfortable place, we'll spoil them with fresh cookies and complimentary breakfast. We are filled with luxuries like an indoor pool, fitness center, and a guest laundry. The business center includes a boardroom, connection to high-speed internet, and catering for meetings is always available. Call me, Donna Vachavis, at 252-442-0500 for a tour and or to set up your corporate rate. You're always welcome as family in the country, country and in suites, rocking out. Welcome back to WHIG TV Newsbreak. I'm Marie Torres. Tomorrow, North Carolina's Speaker of the House will be in town. Wednesday, August 24th, Speaker of the House Tom Tillis will be having his legislative town hall meeting at Garner's Barbecue Restaurant on 1331 North Wesleyan Boulevard. The event will begin with a Dutch lunch at 11.30 a.m., followed by the town hall meeting at noon. RSVP is requested, and you can do that with an email reply to speaker.rsvp at ncleg.net. 
A historic restaurant and hotel is undergoing a major facelift. This week, we stopped into the former Carlton House in downtown Rocky Mount to check out the newest gem to the city. Terry Spicer of Epiphany Public Relations LLC fills us in of the grandeur and excitement to come about the new name and new facility. All right, Terry, if you would tell us what's going on at the former Carlton House. Well, right now, final preparations are well underway with anticipation for our opening. I mean, every detail is just being considered so that we provide an amazing experience. So, you know, customers are coming in wanting to book for weddings and business meetings and just everything from A to Z. So we're really, really pleased about, you know, the excitement in the community for the upcoming opening of this place. Okay, and give us the name of it and tell us the feel you get when you get when you come inside. It's the Four Seasons Restaurant and Conference Center. Uh, we are going to provide an elegant upscale experience. We will provide American Nouveau cuisine with a southern flair. You'll get a, a great meal, but you'll have that southern comfort and you'll leave feeling Oh my gosh, so fulfilled and in many ways, you know, so we're providing an amazing upscale experience here in the community. All right, mm -hmm. and tell us about the preparation uh, for this. We have an opening upcoming. Exactly. Yeah, we do. And right now, the date, we've got a tentative one, but we will announce that within the next week. Um, but right now, they're putting in the final lights, the final wiring, the final everything. So we just want to make certain that this place you know, is second to none. We know the great rich history of the Carlton House and we're very, very honored, you know, that we have this opportunity, you know, to come into Rocky Mount under a new name, but still providing the great, great service and living up to that wonderful legacy that was the Carlton House. And there's some awesome touches here. I saw a piano. Oh my gosh. And the dining room here is beautiful, beautifully uh, decorated and we'll have live music on the piano every night, touch of jazz, a touch of elegance, you know, time and time again. So. The experience will be wonderful dining, a wonderful meal. You'll have a wonderful experience every single time that you come in. Okay, and what do you think this means to the city of Rocky Mount to have such a facility here? Oh, I mean, everybody's so excited. You know, the college, the community, the, the city. Um, and we're so excited too because we get to give back economically to this wonderful community. And it just really, really provides another element of the great rich traditions in Rocky Mount and the Four Seasons will just be a wonderful community staple. Okay, and so for people who want to uh, learn about how they can book an event here, mm -hmm. or when the opening is going to be, or yeah. another, uh, event that you, you all may have, what information can you give them? Well, right now uh, the website is it's almost finalized. We will have a, a website that will feature information about everything, you know, here at the at the Four Seasons Restaurant and Conference Center. It'll tell you about upcoming events, and one is in particular that's going to be a great two-day event, October 28th and 29th. Please mark your calendars. We'll have a beautifully decorated grand ballroom to showcase this new place um, for weddings, for all kinds of business meetings, events. Um, so please come in that Friday, October 28th, um, from 6 o'clock to 9 o'clock, and then we're going to have a jazzy bridal brunch showcase on Saturday the 29th from 10 to noon. So for more information, please call us here at 252-446-4226. But information is forthcoming. It's going to be an incredible, incredible event. So please mark your calendars. Brides, mothers of the bride, everybody, companies, we really want to service you here. And we guarantee that the Four Seasons will make you absolutely, it'll leave you with memories that are just lifelong. Four Seasons is located at 209 North Church Street in Rocky Mount. We'll be keeping you updated on its development and opening. Up next, a look at weather. We'll be right back.
We're your news team bringing it home to you with meteorologist Fred Holtzworth, anchor Marie Torres, sports reporter Edward Green, and Matt Havitt, our studio guy. WHIG TV News Break, your voice in the community. The Country Inn & Suites is your home away from home with a staff that always treats you as family. If you or your church or company has visitors, give them a great Rocky Mount welcome with a special discount on their overnight or extended stay. Not only is the Country Inn & Suites a comfortable place, we'll spoil them with fresh cookies and complimentary breakfast. We are filled with luxuries like an indoor pool, fitness center, and a guest laundry. The business center includes a boardroom, connection to high-speed internet, and catering for meetings is always available. Call me, Donna Vachavis, at 252-442-0500 for a tour and or to set up your corporate rate. You're always welcome as family in the country, country and in suites, rocking out. It's now time to take a look at our weekly weather with WHIG TV meteorologist Fred Holtzworth. Fred? Our temperatures will be right around the normal mark of 87. We'll have a high of 86 today, and so things are looking very tra tranquil here on Tuesday, August the 23rd. Let's go to our forecast map and see what we have coming up for today. First of all, the severe weather area will be from central Illinois northeastward up, or up into the Great Lakes covering most of Indiana and a portion of Ohio. So right in here will be our severe weather threat today and this is in conjunction with a cold front and a warm front warm front out ahead of the cold front and this unstable air in between could set off the showers and thunderstorms for today. As far as rain, our area won't see any today. We did see a light shower overnight at our weather station, but for the most part, the rain would be confined to extreme coastal areas of South Carolina, North Carolina, uh, southeastern Georgia and the Florida Peninsula. This would be in connection with a stationary front stretching from uh, northern Florida and southern Georgia on out into the Atlantic for several hundred miles. High pressure off the coast of Massachusetts, well off the coast of Massachusetts, is keeping a clockwise flow of air going around behind this frontal boundary. As we look farther to the west, high pressure over the Canadian Prairie provinces up here, pushing down a cold front, which will be moving south eastward and clearing out this uh, shower and thunderstorm area in uh, the southern plains. As we look at Texas, right in here, no rain. They, uh, they have forgotten what rain looks like in Texas. They've heard about it, but uh, some people are getting on up in years and have not seen rain yet in Texas. Of course, we've been a little bit facetious there, but it is extremely dry out here, particularly in west central Texas, in this area. And there's no relief in sight for that area right now. Rain and thunderstorms will be located in the Four Corners region right in here in the desert southwest and high pressure giving mostly a fair day to the far west except a small area of showers and thunderstorms up in the chimney region of the state of Idaho. Well let's take a look now at our forecast and see what we can expect for today. Sunny with a high of 86, north wind at 7. Partly cloudy tonight with a low of 59, light wind. Wednesday sunny with a high of 88, south wind at 7. For Wednesday night, fog will be developing late Wednesday night. Partly cloudy with a low of 66, winds will be light. Thursday sunny, slight chance of showers and thunderstorms during the afternoon. High of 93 and a south wind at 7. 
For Thursday night, mostly cloudy with a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms, a low of 70. Friday, chance of showers and thunderstorms with a high of 88. Friday night, chance of showers and thunderstorms becoming breezy with a low of 72. Breezy on Saturday with showers and thunderstorms, a high of 83, and a low of 71 Saturday night. A high yesterday, 87 degrees, a low this morning, 66, and one hundredth of an inch of rain during the past 24 hours. The national extremes for yesterday, the highest temperature in the lower 48 yesterday was 114 degrees at Needles, California. The low was 31 degrees at Stanley, Idaho. The most rainfall reported by National Weather Service weather station yesterday was 1.66 inches up in Caribou, Maine. And during the passage of uh, Hurricane Irene, the San Juan, Puerto Rico weather station picked up 4.21 inches. And that's a look at your Rocky Mountain and Tri-County weather. Now back to you. Thanks, Fred. That's going to do it for us here today on Newsbreak. Join us Thursday as we continue to bring you news that's impacting the community. For WHIG-TV, I'm Marie Torres. We'll see you next time. <music>